All right, so I'm, I'm here with Guy with Infor. Yes. We're here in Modex 2018. We're very excited about this. Uh, so tell me, Guy, what, what are you guys rolling out with? What's that new innovation that you guys are bringing to market here at Modex? Yeah, Danny, you know, really excited to be here at Modex. In a, I was going to say hot Atlanta, but it's, uh, it's not been uh, as hot as it should be. So, uh, no, it's very cold. It's very cold, actually. Yeah, I was going to bring an overcoat. But no, we're excited to be here. You know, the big thing that we're rolling out or that we're, we're trying to showcase at the event this year is really our, our, our new thinking around the warehouse and the role the warehouse plays in today's retail B2B, B2C economy. And what does that mean, right? The warehouse is no longer sort of a cost center. It's becoming a strategic part of your overall supply chain and your business. And it's no longer sort of a siloed entity within your supply chain. It has to be networks. It has to be tied together. Your supply chain, your, your, your warehouse, all that is where your inventory flows. And therefore, you have to have true visibility of that inventory, whether it's in one warehouse, 10 warehouses, 22 warehouses across different, different states, different countries, and all that. So we're really excited to uh, talk more about that aspect and, and what we're offering in that space. Awesome. Is there any particular like particular product offering that you're rolling out with this uh, at, here at uh, Modex? I don't think there's any one particular product. I think you know, Infor Infor Retail is, a, is pretty big in terms of what we're offering, but I think we're just really focusing on that, that key element of the warehouse supply chain visibility within how we or we as consumers are are asking our supply chains to respond to our needs. So I would say there's not one specific product. It's really more of a strategy and a, a long-term vision about what we're going to do in that space. So we're really excited about that. Excellent. So on that note, what are what is your like go-to-market strategies? It's a little bit more of an intentional focus on warehousing and like the connected warehouse, if you will. What are what, what's some of the, the strategies that you're employing on that from a, from a sales and marketing standpoint? You know, it's 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 a challenge, right? We all want to get our message out there and talk about how uh, our stuff is better than someone else's or has you know differentiation. So I think for us, it's it's you know not to be cliche, but it's a lot of blocking and tackling, right? There's no magic bullet. Right, so what we're looking at is doing like this, like coming to a great event like this and, yeah. and meeting customers and having discussions. Uh, we're looking at things like talking to you, right, getting our word out there and podcasting. That's and scary. You, it is scary, isn't it? Uh, we expect a lot of leads from, from this conversation. I know, sorry, no pressure. Um, but putting out things, you know, like obviously white papers, we do our own podcast. Um, but just really at the end of the day, it's, it sounds cliched, but it's a people business, right? We gotta go out there, we gotta meet people, we gotta sell the stuff, we gotta show them why why we're, we deserve to have them talk to us more and to do more with us. Um, so it's, it's exciting, but it's a challenge, right? There's, there's a lot of great companies in this hall that we are competing with or partnering with, and it's really up to us to, to earn the trust of a potential customer to spend their time and hopefully their money with us. I love that. It's, it's trust. You know, it's, it, it, it is, you, yeah, like you said, you hear it's people business, but you know, you got all this new technology, all these great things, but at the end of the day, it's really connecting with that customer. I think that you hit nail on the head. Yeah. And it, it's, you know, it's everything from us as consumers and the way retail handles things, having trust with us, to doing this, right? Selling to enterprise and stuff, is, it's the trust. And, and I think there's a lot of tools out there to build the trust. Uh, and we just need to be uh, sensitive about that, how we do it, and how we respect customers, and, and how we earn that trust. And I think we do a you know fairly good job, and we need to keep doing that, and we need to keep working on it. And I think that's 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 exciting. It's a daunting task, and it's a huge responsibility. Um, and I think we're we're up for the task. So we're looking forward to continuing that process with our customers and prospects. Awesome. Last question. So, what would you say your top three marketing tactics are? Wow, top three marketing tactics. Um, and I don't think there's any particular order in it, sure. but I think uh, I think one is around social. We all need to have a social strategy. I think it's no longer, whether it's Twitter or podcast or blogs or things, it's no longer a nice to have. It's no longer, well, that's only for you know me on Instagram sharing pictures of the Bloody Mary I had on Sunday. No, it's, it's, it's how you build that trust, how you build that relationship. So I think having a social media strategy is one. I think two is having a really dynamic content strategy. Remember that is, you know, no longer are we only dependent upon analysts or the press for our information. We look to people like us to share big ideas and we want to engage with you to share big ideas. So what I mean by that is, if I write good content that is about ideas and sharing those ideas, and not just selling, not just a brochure where I build trust, right? So that's number two. And number three, I think it's the old fashioned, just like this, getting out there, meeting people, talking to people, building relationship, being able to talk and look people in the eye and say, you know what, we can't do that, or that's we're not the best equipped for that, but we could do this, or we could do that. So I think those are the three big things. You know, back to people, 
social social media, I think that's a huge aspect, and just good, rich, real content, right? Not brochureware stuff. Yeah. We all know brochure and advertising, we need to have that, but to really have a good foundational marketing aspect, I think you need to have that, hey, share ideas. We're all smart people, like we want to learn from each other. How do we do that? Oh man, I love it, absolutely. I think we're getting the social cues here. Yeah, I think we're just like last it's, call it's of the It's closing bar, right? time. Yeah, it's closing yeah, They're going to start playing semi-sonic yeah, exactly, song here. Exactly. Bit. So thanks so much for your time, Guy. Yeah, I really sure. enjoyed your insights. And and, and, and uh, if anybody would like to learn more about you and Infor, how, what's the best way of reaching? Uh, by all means, just go to our website, uh, www.infor.com. Uh, or you can follow me on Twitter. It is at G Corton, so G-C-O-U-R-T-I-N on Twitter. Please do follow me or DM me and we'll love to chat. Awesome. We're going to follow you today. Awesome. This is awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Great.